Welcome to week number five for Eloise. My name is Jodie Bunting and this is our six week course where our slimmers are trying to lose a stone in six weeks. Hi Eloise. Hello. Still Live. not worth trying. <laughs> Try, we're certainly trying. Live from the garden. Again, yeah, nice blue, bit of blue sky. Oh, no, oh blue sky, there we go. Yeah, and it's going <laughs> And roses. <laughs> <laughs> so what is the news from the scales this week? Hang on, one, two, three. Three pounds. Yeah. Yes. Well done. Hey, you didn't. Hey, you didn't ask if it was three on or three off. So you're just <laughs> assuming it's three off. <laughs> I can yeah. tell by your smile that it's off. <laughs> it's so off. Yeah. It does mean I went hard to go for the pesky four, but it was just hovering this morning. So I thought I'm going to go with three. That's if yeah. it goes to four, then it's one extra for next week. So that means you're into double figures. Your total weight loss is now ten pounds. Ten, yeah. Isn't that great? It sounds, always sounds better when it gets to double. I think that's what I hate is the, the slow journey up, and then once it starts hitting those double, it's that you feel yeah. like you're doing something. Yeah. So that's ten pounds in five weeks, which is two pound per week average, which is fabulous. Favorite number, two pound a week. And can I say I that actually I can really see it in your face this week. That's where we were planning for all that ten pound to go, wasn't it? <laughs> Off my fans. It worked. I know, but don't you think it that you just worked? You must feel like feel slender in your face when you look at yourself. No, because I think I used to have a really chubby face, but then when I lost my weight, my weight didn't go back on my face as much. So I've always had a bit of slimmer face. I just don't let people see the rest of me. Yeah, that's the trick. <laughs> or go from a pub like this with a face, long, long face. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I all think about can, the tricks. I really think that we people can notice it now. So, have you had any comments? No. It's a, I've got a, it's still a long way to go though for me. Um, so it's fine. Okay. So what it's have all you that done? Visceral, it's all the visceral fat going first. <laughs> it's the, it's the bad fat going. I get that. Yeah. It's fine. Exactly. <laughs> That's the good news. Yeah. So tell me, what have you done this week compared to the other weeks? did what you told me to do you told oh. me to eat dust and drink water which i did <laughs> did you enjoy the dust it was amazing and you can have so much of it as well that's just the joy of it and and you know something it's plentiful sauce anywhere you go you can find it perfect <laughs> go, it's free. You've got it. free <laughs> yeah um you told me to lay off the grains so i think i did and how difficult has it been I didn't. I don't think I put too much in my diet anyway with the grains. So it, yeah, it's been fine. Right. Let's have a little look through your fuel, food diary. Yeah. Go for it. Yeah. See where if I did add any in. Right. So this morning for breakfast, you had yogurt with raspberries, blueberries, blackberries, and strawberries. Yes, strawberries. Yep. Any from your garden? No, not yet. Cheated. Litchfield Market. It's not that quite that season yet, is it? No, no, not yet. Uh, for lunch, you've had uh, egg, new potato, cauliflower, beetroot, and one of my favourite falafels. Great. Yeah, it was a bit of a strange one. That it was that was at work, and it was the salad bar at work. So I just tried to hone in on the bits that I thought were the best bits. Yeah, perfect um monday so yesterday was the same breakfast uh yogurt and fruit for lunch was chicken beetroot new potatoes with salad bar again yeah salad bar again cucumber and the carrot do you enjoy the salad bar uh if i if i've not prepped then it's the better option for me if you see what else they serve yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what that's cost all I'm is saying. the salad bar? What, what, sorry? What's the cost of the salad bar? Is it worth it? Well, to be fair, yesterday I took my own cucumber and carrot sticks in um, and I took a bit of chicken in with me. So I literally paid for a couple of little potatoes and some beetroot, which was a pound. Oh, bargain. That's good. And then today I bought the whole lot and that was three pounds. Yeah. So we're not we're talking we're not talking major figures, but if I can, I prefer to take my own in because obviously I can weigh it all, calculate yeah. it all out. I'm more in control when I do it at home. But 
this morning I just I didn't do that yeah Lack don't worry. Of shopping on that one but yeah but I, I try and be mindful uh yesterday and last night you... with scrambled eggs that was it oh, I know scrambled eggs. it literally was scrambled eggs with butter I was in the garden till eight o'clock so by the time I came in I was going to make an omelette and then I realized I was really hungry so it was quicker just to scramble them up quickly <laughs> yeah perfect <laughs> and eat them yeah so carvery on Sunday that was a ri and I haven't really had a lot else and the pure fact is is I have no idea how you calculate that carvery so I'd rather go without okay. and just eat that and know that what Ever. If I don't have anything else, then I must have been in my calorie allowance. And then the only other thing that you put in was the celery sticks celery, with the peanut butter, peanut butter and a yeah, couple of berries just... and cream. Yeah. I didn't have cream, did I? Berries? I had some berries, didn't have cream. Oh, sorry. I, cream I don't know where I'm making up. It says raspberry. No, stop making it up. Stop making me look bad, worse than what I am. I saw the word fresh and cream must have come into my head. Raspberries. It was raspberries and blackberries. Yeah. I've been, uh, I don't know whether you saw, but I've been making some I videos about it. afternoon I, tea. So this is I where my eyes, this is yeah, where my eyes are automatically putting in cream when cream. I see the <laughs> Fresh. It looked a very cute little table though. I'm very <laughs> impressed. You're more than welcome around here anytime. You would like <laughs> that afternoon tea. tea. Yeah, apart from the cake things, which I'm not that bothered about, but anything else, I'll, I'll eat, especially the strawberries. So, yeah. Um, right, so Saturday was, was my birthday. Oh, yes. And so guess your what? No cake. Your birthday breakfast was the same as normal, but you had some honey as your treat. I did. That's Five cool. grams of it's quite easy. I did. I literally put it on the scales and I weighed out five grams of honey. Oh, but it tastes so nice, doesn't it, with yogurt? Yeah, yeah. Just that, just a little bit of sweetness. And I sat in the garden all by myself, enjoying my birthday breakfast. And I used the picture, didn't I, in this week's email because it was so pretty. Well you done, did. really. It's a nice way to enjoy your birthday. Just relaxing. Um, for lunch, you just had an apple. And then in the evening, yes. you had cauliflower steak with sweet potato. Went out for dinner. Yeah. Where, where was this at? Um, the main old arms near Horcross Hall. Oh, lovely. I love Very it nice. There. So, yeah, so we went, I went for the soup. I was going to go for the heritage beetroot salad, but then she said that it shouldn't have been on the menu and they didn't have it. So um, they did the superfood salad for me, which is, you know, broccoli adami beans and you know all that sort of stuff yeah um and then it was a cauliflower steak for maine because i went off the vegan menu great very nice yeah and it was just like on a bed of like tomatoes with a bit of sweet potato and no dessert but, it, but it's just so nice isn't it to see at the at restaurants an actual vegan meal opposed to just a bunch of corn processed crap isn't it you know they've actually Correct. thought about vegetables rather than just relying yeah. on the corn, yeah. which is great. Yeah, and I, and I'd pre-looked at the menu, so I knew in my head it didn't matter what I saw on the other menu. In my head, it was like I'm going off that vegan menu, and yeah. I stuck. I knew exactly what I was going to do, and I stuck to it. So yeah. Oh, perfect. Well done. <laughs> right, Friday. Um, yeah. Friday, yeah. Uh, strawberries oh, yeah. and honey with your yogurt uh, for lunch was asparagus mushrooms uh the turkey, oh, yeah, turkey bacon wrappers. eggs yeah. lovely yeah. and then for dinner like was apple and a banana <laughs> with celery sticks and peanut butter yeah again i went out and when i came back best option late at night yeah nice thursday was a poached egg breakfast with mushrooms vegetarian sausages subway lunch chicken tikka great yeah that was nice that was nice salad that i don't i wouldn't have used that but i was driving i'd had my window screen fixed in derby i thought gosh i'm really hungry so um i was just trying to weigh up my options and then realized there was a subway down at kingsway so yeah thought, oh salad bit of chicken tikka can't go wrong with that absolutely yeah then in the evening you had tuna, 
salad basically with some more yeah, yeah. Um, vegetable stuff. <laughs> yogurt and then you had some of the lovely 70 percent chocolate which i used in my uh, afternoon tea today I missed that bit because I had to work. But I was, oh. I, was I just couldn't put the volume up. But, yeah. I had one of those little bars. Is that what you had? Yes. Is yeah. it the, like the Mosha Roth one, Mosha Roche or something? And the, yeah, I didn't realise they came in the little bars. But I mean, I don't eat them that often. But I think once or twice a week, it's 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 nice just to have something. Mine in my video had melted in the sunshine. That was the only slight. Nice issue. hot chocolate. <laughs> You should have just popped it in uh, some hot milk. Perfect. <laughs> well, it would have been perfect to dip the strawberries in, to be honest. Oh, very true. Hmm. Right. And the last day was last Wednesday, which was yogurt and berries for breakfast, tuna and jacket potato for lunch. And then the evening was chicken and vegetables. So well so done. I tried to lay off the eggs a little bit. Just give me another option of just trying to get myself into the yogurt. Um just to see how I feel for that as a breakfast option. So that's the reason why I probably cane the yogurt a bit more, just to see how I feel. Yeah. Um, You've done amazing. The cha Like you, you said, know, the challenge is... was to get rid of the grains, and that's really yeah. worked for you. It really makes you think. And actually, I did probably... Oh, yeah, but I did cheat. I had one bit of grain, and I, I was absolutely kicking myself. And I was at Litchfield um, Food Market on Saturday, and this gentleman passed me a bit of hummus over, freshly made hummus. And I popped it in my mouth and I realised it was on a Ritz biscuit. I was. I was absolutely <laughs> mortified. My mum was laughing at me. I was I was so mortified. I was like, no <laughs> grains, no grains. Uh, yeah, so, yeah. But that that's it. For the whole week, I don't think I've done too bad. Yeah. No, you've when done really focused, amazing. I'm focused. Yeah, yeah. Because at the end of the day, I'm here to ask for your advice. If you told me to do it, then I'm yeah. going to do it. No point doing it otherwise, is there? And to be honest, this is the biggest issue with a lot of plant based diets. They just a lot of people just live off grains. So this is where it's good just to try and get rid of that group of foods, because then it goes it puts you back to the real plant based natural foods, which obviously will help you lose weight. So this is why I did it. So hopefully you kind of enjoyed it because you just went for kind of different things that you wouldn't normally have. Yeah, it's a bit of a Zoe Harkham approach to it. I don't know if you've ever read anything of the Zoe Harkham, the Harkham diet or anything like that. No. It's very similar to her approach. The only thing that she would hate me for is eating fruit. Oh, okay. Yeah, so the first <laughs> you really cut everything out. There's no milk, there's no fruit. There's well, you basically the dust diet, isn't it? Yeah. The first week, but it's all about the can candida and stuff like that in your body. Um, so this is very, very similar to that, apart from I've added like the bits of fruit in. So... I've done it before, so it wasn't too bad. And again, in the, in the defense of fruit, as long as you're having it with protein, like you've been having it with the uh, yeah. yogurt, actually, it's easier for your body to digest. So this is why yeah. I really think it's fine to have it as long as you're having fruit. And with... sticking with berries as well. So I know they're the lower ones, yeah, sticking lower with the raspberries. Carbs. You know, a whole punnet of raspberries, you probably get away with 60 calories. So you're getting a, a lot, you know, when you do a whole bowl of yogurt and fruit like that and you think gosh 150 200 calories it's a big it's a big amount isn't it yeah. compared to if i was to say put my 40 grams of bran flakes in a bowl and feel like i'd been robbed so true yeah right so what is the plan for this week just keep on going just going to keep pushing through i'm in the i'm, I'm in the mindset and from day one since i started this I was in the right frame of mind because that's what I needed something to put me back in the right frame of mind again yeah. so I've not deviated off I've done everything that you've told me to or advised me to and I've just stayed on plan do I miss sugar no not really do I miss cakes no not really not eating a bag of crisps for over six weeks do I miss it not really amazing so, really you've done so well yeah yeah so we're going to continue just... doing grain free then this week hey you didn't say that well, that I'm asking you, do you want to continue? I was just about, just about to go and buy myself a nice loaf of bread from birds. What's up with you? Right, <laughs> now. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll keep on going with however I feel comfortable then and see how I can push it. So you're at £10. So obviously our course is all about losing the stone. So I'm going to give you two options. Okay. Don't do the 800 calorie one, please don't. I've been avoiding <laughs> that. No. What you could do is stay on grain free. 
Yeah. Okay. Or go back to the grains and then bring it down to 800 calories. Yeah, just stick with grain free. So do you want to stick with grain free? Uh, if you do look at my food diary and you look at the calories I've been eating, sometimes I'm not even hitting the amount that I should have. And it is yeah. terrible of me. Um, no, it's fine. I can quite easily do that. But I think, I don't think I'm ready to dedicate doing 800 a day. Yeah. And that's being just, honest. I think I'd rather keep going. Just don't um, eat. Don't see that. Um, calorie, you know what's in my fitness pal. Don't see yeah. those calories as a goal. If you don't feel like eating that many calories, don't eat that many calories. With all Michael Mosley's research about the 800 fast or anything, I just recommend people eat at least 800 calories. Yeah. So again, if you don't feel like eating more, you know, you're hitting your goal, then don't worry about getting that, is what I'm trying to say. You can't complete your diary on my fitness pal if you don't eat enough. It, it tells you off, doesn't it? And well, this is where my fitness pal <laughs> and Michael Mosley are not friends. But no, uh, not at all. It really tells you off. It were refuses to log it. I know I tried a few times and I'm like, complete. No, okay. We'll and the reason do it, it does yeah. that, by the way, is just because of the uh, my fitness pal runs from the NHS guidelines. So this is why it says that. But if you if you do want to eat less, uh, as long as it's not less than 800, then I'm completely OK with that, especially on our last week. Yeah, I know. I know you just Again, tell us all to starve. You know, long term, it's not good to do stuff like this. Starve the stone a... out of them. They'll do it. <laughs> starve. No. For, for a six week, six week challenge, yeah. then it's fine. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. We'll just keep on going. Great. Right. So I will speak to you next week. Yes. Thank you very much. Always right. a pleasure. Thank you. Well done, Eloise. <laughs> thank you. All right. Bye for now. Bye. 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 Bye.